Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, let us take a look into stereotype annotations. Well, stereotype annotations are used to create a spring beans automatically in an application context. So here application context is nothing but a spring IOC container. Well, the main stereotype annotation is add component annotation. By using this add component annotation, spring provides more stereotype meta annotations such as add service, add repository and add controller annotations. The add service annotation is used to create a spring beans at a service layer. Add repository annotation is used to create a spring beans for repositories at a DAO layer. And add controller is used to create a spring beans at a controller layer. Well, in typical spring based applications, we use three layer architecture controller layer, service layer, and DAO layer. So, spring provides three stereotype annotations such as add service, add repository, add controller annotation to create a spring beans with respect to these three layers. For example, in a controller layer, we can create a controller classes and we can annotate these controller classes with add controller annotation so that spring container will create a spring beans for these, you know, add controller classes. In a service layer, we can create a service classes and we can annotate these service classes with add service annotation so that spring container can automatically create a spring beans for these add service classes. Next, in a DAO layer, we can create a you know repository classes and we can annotate these classes with add, add repository annotation so that Spring container can create a Spring Beans for these add repository classes. Well, notice here the diagram. Add component annotation is a main stereotype annotation and the other annotations like add controller, add service, add repository. So these stereotype annotations are derived from the add component annotation. Okay, derived meaning these add controller, add service, add repository. So these stereotype annotations are specialization of add component annotation. Okay. Now let us understand more about these stereotype annotations with example. Let's go to our project in IntelliJ IDEA. And within this project, let's create a three packages. So we have already created a controller package and service package. Let's also create a repository package. So we can give name as repository or DAO. So typically different different developers view different different naming convention. So here let's give a repository. Okay, now within a controller package, let's create a class and let's give name as my controller. Let's annotate this my controller class with add controller annotation. And notice here you have to choose controller annotation from org dot spring framework dot stereotype package. Alright, within this my controller class, let's quickly create one method public string. Let's view method name as hello. Next, let us return some dummy data over here. So let us say hello controller. Perfect. So we have created my controller class. Within that class, we have created hello method. It returns hello controller string. And we have annotated this class with add controller annotation. Well, this add controller annotation tells Spring Container to automatically create a Spring Bean for this my controller class. And if you can go inside this add controller annotation, and notice here this add controller annotation is derived from the add component annotation. All right. It means this add controller annotation is basically a specialization of this add component annotation. Okay. So let's go back to our controller class and let us taste this change. So in order to taste this, what we can do is we can get this my controller spring bean from the spring container. So go to main method over here and here we have already application context. It acts as a spring IOC container. So let us retrieve my controller spring bean from this application context. So here let me comment out this code and here let's call context dot get bean method and then pass my controller class type perfect let us take the result of this method in a local variable of type my controller perfect and next let us put the system dot out print statement and then my controller object it has hello method perfect next let us run this program and notice here hello controller is printed okay so basically if you go to my controller within a my controller class we have a hello method so this hello method returns hello controller so this is what printed in a console 
it means spring ioc container automatically created a spring bean for this class next let us go ahead and let us see how to use add service annotation so go to service package over here within this service package let's create a class and let's give name as my service and within this my service class let's create a method public string and let's give method name as hello and let us return some dummy data let us say hello service next let us annotate this class with add service annotation well if you go inside add service annotation this add service annotation is derived from the add component annotation it means the add service annotation is a specialization of add component annotation okay so whenever you create a classes under service package then make sure that you annotate those classes with add service annotation all right perfect next in order to test this what we can do is we can retrieve this my service spring bin from the spring container so go to main method so here we have a context object it has a get bin method and then pass my service as a class type and let us get the result of this get bin method in a local variable of type my service all right and next let us put the system dot println statement and then call my service object it has a hello method next let us run the program i notice here hello service is printed in a console it means spring ioc container automatically created a spring bean for this my service class all right next let us go ahead and let us see how to use add repository annotation so go to repository package within that let's create a new class let's give class name as my repository and let's annotate this class with add repository annotation and notice here you have to choose add repository annotation from org.springframework.stereotype package next within this my repository class let's quickly create a method public string let's use method name as hello and let us return some string here let us say hello repository perfect next if you go inside a repository annotation this repository annotation is derived from the add component annotation it means repository annotation is a specialization of add component annotation well whenever you have a requirement to create a repository classes under repository package then make sure that you annotate those classes with add repository annotation next in order to test this go to main method and retrieve the spring bean so here just call context object it has get bin method and then pass my repository class type and let us get the result of this method in a local variable of type my repository and next let us put the sysout statement and then my repository dot hello perfect next let us run the program and there we go hello repository is printed in a console all right so this is how we can use these important stereotype annotations based on the you know layer well in real time project we create a controller class within a controller class we write the logic to handle the http request and in real time project we create a service class and within a service class we keep all the business logic and in real time project we create a repository class and within a repository class we keep all the database related logic all right i hope you understood how to use these stereotype annotations to create a spring means automatically with respect to different layers all right great i will see you in the next video